Hello everyone, this is Bamadele from Delivery Studios. Uh, you welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at the Android Facebook integration. In this tutorial, we'll see how to integrate Facebook into your application by using the latest version of Facebook SDK for Android. Uh, Facebook SDK for Android makes it easier and faster to integrate. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll see how to add Facebook login feature to your application you know this login provides a convenient and secure way for people to log into an app without having to go through a sign up process and we also have to see how to extract the user information from the login user and show on to the ui of the application okay let's get rolling uh, the first step is to generate a facebook hash key we need that very important we do that through the command line but before we go to the command line, we have to download the open SSL from this website. Let me show you the website you, you have to go to to download the open SSL. It's the lslproweb.com. Uh, they actually host a lot of SSL for Windows, 32-bit, 64-bit, and so on. But in this interface, you have to pick the specific um, bit of operating system that you are using. I'm actually using the, the scroll down. I'm actually using the 64-bit operating system, which you click on this. If you are actually using the 32, you click on the first one. You download the file, which I've downloaded fully here, if you can see it. And you run it just like the way you run any executable on the windows operating system so after doing that there is a command you have to issue in your uh, cmd which is the command prompt you launch your command prompt from the start menu you type cmd you click on your command prompt and this comes up um actually there is a line of code that you actually need to include in your command line which says the key to the iPhone export certificate space iPhone alias space the Android debug key you need your Android debug key where is it sitting at you have to go through majorly your Android debug key sits at your C drive the users the name of the user and the dot android folder the user is shady the dot android folder once you click on the dot android folder you have your debug dot key store file so this directory is very important for you to use in your command prompt so the user profile up here will actually have the directory which is up here of the debug key store so it sits it, it, it can actually de, uh, de, uh, carries the c directory the backslash the users the name of the user and the dot android folder so let me take you to my command prompt and see how to actually generate a hash key okay if you are concentrating right on your screen you can see uh i've already installed the open ssl windows 64 in my c drive which i will show to you quickly this is my c drive this is open ssl windows 64 once you click on it there's a bin folder that is the folder where we actually point to you can see the open SSL Windows 64 backslash bin. I changed uh, you, you change the directory into this directory. So from here, you can call this command down here. The key to the export search alias Android debug key. The key store. My part to the key store is right specified. The space with a bar. Another space, open SSL space with SHA, 
one one word s h a one with a space i think binary with a space another bar with a space open ssl with a space base 64. once you end click your enter button you have to specify a password once you initialize your password you get your hash key my hash key is right seated here you copy it for you to copy on windows command prompt you can right click and click on mark so you put your pointer to the specific portion you need to copy you are like true and you copy once you copy you save it in your notepad somewhere because this is going to be used in the course of the application that should be well taken care of if you have any problem whatsoever in generating your hash key you can leave a comment in my youtube video session i'll be glad to answer that okay quickly once you are able once you're able to generate that you move to the http developers.facebook.com slash apps in your browser for you to add a new application so i'll put you through on how to actually add a new application i've also i've already registered as a facebook developer if you haven't your first page you get here is to register as a facebook developer once you're able to do that you move on to the add a new application you click on your add a new application okay you click add a new app that's a new application it comes up okay are uh, you gonna select android because we are developing on an android platform okay choose an existing app or type the name of a new app i'm gonna do a new app because i have an existing app called my app but i won't do that i won't use that anyway let me intuitive the name of my new app so i have to create a new facebook app id you click on that okay is this a test version of another app no let me choose a category for my app mm, okay entertainment creates the app id Once that is done, okay, 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 I have to write, so I call it com, delivery studios that's the uh, the reverse domain of the package name of my application delivery studios dot intuitive that's the name okay this week go come dot delivery studios dot intuitive dot the main activity okay that's fine click on next okay that's that's 